Um, David Bailey. Um, most people call me Foxy. And I'm now 42. 42? I know. Oh my goodness. And then, um, where are you from? I'm originally from Staffordshire, um, but I live in Milton Keynes. I've been there for the last 22 years. And for some strange reason, I'm having a little bit of a deja vu, and that your face looks a little familiar. Could you just remind me how many times you've done the 10 in 10? I have been here for five previous occasions, so I've done 50 laps of this uh, lovely lake so far. At least 50 laps of the lake. Well, yes, at least. <laughs> there's been some, train, more, yes. there's been some training runs as well, and yeah, I've, uh, I'm well acquainted with where I'm going now, hopefully. So, uh, just when did you do it last? Uh, I had a year off, <laughs> um, so I've not done it since 2013. Mm. Yes, because Joss Naylor told me that uh, yeah, I was to give you a little bit of a rollicking for uh, not doing it last year, you know. He says, but he does want to know, why are you back this year? Uh, the truth is probably that I missed it last year. Yeah. Um, sat at home in May and everybody else was running around my lake. Um, yes. I wasn't best pleased. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 frank, yeah, frankly, I missed it. I missed the people, the place, the camaraderie. And, yeah, I couldn't wait to come back. So, I'm back. Fantastic. Well, it's, it is brilliant to see you back. I was really pleased when I saw your mm. name was there. And I think, you know, I mean, you, you um, clearly, the group as a group will look to you for, you know, sort of some advice and experience, as it were. Yeah. I mean, what, what would you say to them? <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, there's, uh, I sp make the most of it. Um, yeah. In, in, Enjoy it as much as you can. It, there are times it's not going to be easy. There are times it's going to be really, really tough, and and you will realise that it's two hundred and sixty-two miles. It's it's not a walk in the park, um, but it's something very special. And day ten is a very special day to get there to finish. There's the excitement, the uh, the sense of relief, but there's also that oh, it's over, and uh, it can go just too quickly. Um, so just enjoy it, make the best of it, and yeah, yeah. I mean, there will be obviously bits of ad advice here and there. I'm happy to pass on, but also people need to experience it for themselves and and get on with it themselves as well, because nobody's no one, no two people have the same experience here. Everyone's different, you know. Have different people with different goals, different targets, um, different training, different backgrounds. Everyone's you know vastly different in that respect. But I mean, you're, 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 I think the main message there is enjoy it. Yeah. 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 I mean, it if you're not enjoying it, you shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, take the time to enjoy it. I think that's the, yeah. That's the point yeah. Most really. definitely. Yeah. Brilliant. And then, um, I mean, you know, friends and family, and they say, no, no, not again. <laughs> What's been the reaction? Yeah, a few people were a little bit surprised because I, I think I had. Not just after my fifth time here, possibly after my second and third time here, I had that kind of Steve Redgrave moment. Never again. I'm not putting my body through that again. I can't do this again. And yes, I'm back. So I guess never say never again. Um, this might be my last time. But then again, it might not. Who knows? Um, yeah, what do your family say, though? Uh, <laughs> they're, they're very supportive. Um, I think they realise how much it means to me. Um, what a special place in my heart this this place has. Um, just just to get out there, it's it's just a wonderful place. I just love the whole this whole part of the world, and I can just be out on the roads and free, and just I don't know, just feel like an albatross soaring out there. It's just magical, magical. So they're happy to support me doing that. Good, excellent. And then um, Romeo, training and how's the training going so far? Yeah, I mean. Obviously, having a year off. Um, yeah, but you've not exactly not been running. Though, no, 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 no. To be fair, I, yeah, I have run. I mean, I've I've still got through twenty odd marathons and yeah. and a couple of ultra marathons, but I haven't done that day to day. Yeah. Coming back day after day after day after day, and that's going to take some getting used to again. Um, I mean, my times in the past year have been very very good, but they've been a time one day, not yeah. when there's nine days to go. So I've got to look at increasing my mileage slowing down my training a, a little bit to yeah. accommodate for that which is hard to do because you know i'm competitive with myself i'll go out and you know if it's going well it's like okay let's see if we can go a bit quicker than this yeah. uh, and so sort of 
reining myself in and sort of going out and saying, right, I'm going to do a hard, fast six miles. It's got to be a case of, okay, I need to slow it down, perhaps go out and do 10, 12, 14 miles. And so that's going to be yeah. uh, a change. You're getting back into, you know, what I was doing a couple of years ago. Um, so that'll be interesting. Yeah. Um, fingers crossed it'll all work out. I mean, I've, I've already started increasing my mileage in, the last, in this week. Yeah. And I've been shattered. <laughs> Which possibly is, doesn't sound great, but e even for somebody like myself, it's a, it's a change to, yeah. to increase my mileage. I, mean, I did have a, a leisurely, for me, December, um, by comparison. I still ran every day, but you know, I was running three and five miles a day. I wasn't running you yeah. Know, yeah. considerably higher than that. So. Uh, I mean, you know, you know exactly what you're facing and you know how to play that. Yeah, yeah I suppose that, that I do have an advantage. And obviously, I have done the training before and I've trained and got it right with training. I've also trained and got it very wrong with training, um, both by doing too few miles and by doing too many miles. So I've got an idea of what I, I need to be yeah, uh, where you looking to be, at. Yeah. Um, so yeah. And what about the, the Brave Aid course itself? I mean, you know, you, you, you back raising money again for Brave Aid. I mean, what is it about Brave Aid that, that sort of resonates oh, with it's, you? It's just the fantastic work they do. I mean, they, they do fantastic work with children all around the country and you, and you just you just see the impact they make on these children's lives. They've just revolutionised lives for some for some people. Um, I've recently had a, a, a generous donation from a gentleman who's one of my suppliers, and it, he was here as a 19-year-old, and he said it's something I'll never forget, uh, and it certainly yeah. helped shape the person that he is today. And that's really nice to hear. Do you know that's the third person today who's yeah. mentioned that specific. Yeah, and the yeah, thing is, it's not like he's a guy local. I think he's based yeah. in Surrey or or somewhere down sort of south of London, and it's yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's good to hear that. <clears throat> How is the fundraising going? It's gone very well. Um, yeah. We did um, a raffle for race places for various marathons all around the country, and I called in a few favours from various friends, and um, I have a a, fr a, a very helpful friend, my friend Karen, who uh, also knows a lot of race directors, who's called in a few favours. So we, we hope to be able to raffle off sort of five or ten raffle places, um, perhaps bring in sort of four or five hundred quid. Um, it ended up with 31 raffle places, so we raffled off 31 uh, race places for marathons and ultras all over the country. We have races in um, Cumbria, Huddersfield, um, Shropshire, Kent, Dorset, um, and that brought in £1,200. So Excellent. fundraising is going pretty well. Yeah. Um, I'm helping out some of the other guys with some of their fundraising as well and uh, trying to give them a few pointers and uh, direct a few people their way. So, yeah, that's going very well again. Um, so I'm looking at smashing any previous targets this year. Um, so, yeah, that's we're hopefully we're getting well over what we want to be looking at, yeah. Well, that's an incredible achievement in its own right, my friend. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get any easier to yeah. go back to the same people again and again. Um, Obviously, some people are more than happy to donate again and again, but um, yeah, it's just about keeping it fresh. Um, yeah. But in the same way, obviously, exhausting other options that you've used in the past that have worked. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, there's only so long you can flog a dead horse, <laughs> <laughs> basically. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, there's been some quite new, some new ideas I've heard uh, this time, you know, that uh, seem to be quite successful. We'll have to use a variety. Swishing was one of them, if you've what? heard of swishing. Ask swishing. Kate. Swishing. swishing. Ask Kate. I've never heard and of swishing. Then, uh, race night. Right, yeah, okay. Uh, race yeah. night did, did particularly well. Uh, okay, yeah. Anyway, down to the uh, very final question now. Um, just um, thinking about, looking forward to uh, May, if you can just sum up your feelings looking forward to May, what, what word would you choose? One word. One word. You want to put everything in just one word. Yeah. Um, you know this. Cool. Yeah. Um, one word. It's very hard to put down just one word. Uh, let me think. Um, intriguing. Intriguing. Mm. Why do you use intriguing? I'm just intrigued whether I can still do what I've done in the past. Yeah. Can I? Can I still do what I have done? To the level that I'm happy doing it, yeah. will the fact that I've taken a year off mean it's 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 all new again uh, to an extent? Because it's yeah. not like I've gone from one ten in ten to the next ten ten. There has been been that gap both physically with the training and and mentally. So yeah, I'm intrigued. Intrigued. 